Space. The Final Frontier. These are the voyages of Expanse 3, the ultimate patch library from Lufgrim. Its mission? To explore strange new sonic worlds, to seek out new life, new sounds, and to boldly go where no Omnisphere patch library has gone before. Sorry, I really couldn't resist that intro. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well, and I've been quite creative uh, recently, you know, a bit of a creative streak, especially over this past weekend. And to top it all, Luftrum has dropped something truly exciting, a brand new library for all of us to add to our sonic arsenal. Today we're diving into Expanse 3, crafted by the incredible sound designer Echo Season, and the final chapter of his Expanse series. If you're into expansive soundscapes and cutting edge design, this is going to be right up your alley. Expanse 3 draws inspiration from genres like Sibiant, Psy Chill, Down Tempo, Ambience and even Berlin School. With 100 expertly crafted patches, this library will take you on a sonic journey to the remote regions of the Milky Way. And what we're talking about here are lush, slow-moving pads, dynamic polysynths, delicate plucks and crystalline bells that add depth and versatility far beyond just ambient music. You'll also find fractured keys and shimmering textures perfect for any project. And that's not all, because Expanse 3 comes packed with arpeggio sequences and even transition effects that add a whole new dimension to your sound design. Whether you're composing for film, games, or creating your next electronic track, this library is truly a complete package and an epic conclusion to the Expanse trilogy. And to sweeten the deal, Luftrum and Echo Season have thrown in some bonuses, 15 custom reverb effects racks to use in your own sound creations, and a set of six stunning high quality desktop wallpapers featuring the Expanse 3 cover art. So not only will your sounds be inspired, but your creative workspace will be too. Expanse 3 for Omnisphere 2.8 and above is available now for just $39, and if you're part of the Luftrum Inner Circle newsletter, you can snag it with an extra 20% discount. I've dropped the link in the description below, so make sure to grab your copy today and start exploring these incredible sounds. So we have 100 sounds to play with, so I'm not going to go through all of them. What we're going to do is the usual thing of just picking a selection just to get the feel of what this library sounds like. So let's dive into some arps and sequences and we'll start with Apogee. here is to actually read the description because as I was playing then I was moving the mod wheel and because that opens the filter and after touch which shortens the arp gate and adds a bit of vibrato now after touch is when you think you've got to the bottom of your key bed just push a little bit further but please do check your MIDI controllers manual because not every single one of the controllers will have after touch so do check because you can damage your keyboard if you push it a little bit too far Let's do Epsilon District. Now I do like these next three, here comes the juice, because I like them so much we're going to actually play all three of these because they are really really nice. <laughs> So a nice acid sequence. Ah, 
and the final version of this. Really, yeah, definitely takes you back to those acid type sequences. That's just the arpeggiators and sequences. Straight away, this library it does sound really atmospheric. I use that word again, really, but there's no other way of putting it. It's just atmosphere. keyboards some pads and as we know I do like my pads Go first seconds of matter. I want that nice busy in the background here. Tail. Jupiter Transit.
Uh, let's try a different key. Uh, let's go with this one. You can filter out the rhythmic by just opening the mod wheel. Save the filter. Filter out the rhythmic element. Try and say that a few times. Let's do one more Tundra Strings. some bass in here. Now, things with basses, you know, they do work well as basses, but sometimes they sound good as leads. A couple of synth longs in here. Let's just do a couple of these. That's a really nice synth mono, it's sort of like um, prog rock style Wick Wakeman. Some 
some synth polys. Play some textures. I do like those little sort of uh, percussiony type bits in in the textures. It adds real atmosphere. Some transition effects, let's see your entry scan. That stuttering effect is the uh, 16th note marked from the mobile. Welcome to the brink. So now we've had a play through some of the sounds and seen what they can do in isolation, let's put these together in a little composition.
as we wrap up, there's one thing you can always count on when you pick up a library from Luftrum, and that's unmatched quality. Expanse 3 is really no exception to this, and every sound is instantly usable, whether you're deep into a project or just starting one out. It's like being transported into the vast, uncharted expanse of space and the cosmic world beyond. Experimenting by layering patches and playing with the model wheel along with Aftertouch really does add to the storytelling elements from this library. We've heard how these sounds work together in a light ambient composition which we just heard a moment ago. The melodic riff from the patch around the system form the core of the track, while drones um, from microwave background radiation and tundra strings lay down a strong atmospheric foundation. And of course, I had to incorporate some deep bass tones into this, and these came from the patch Transistors and Defiant Mass, which really added to that unique flavour to the mix. Once we started dotting some bells and spot effects to introduce each section, the track really took shape. Overall, Expanse 3 is the perfect conclusion to Luftrum's Expanse trilogy. I'm beyond sort of like excited to start incorporating these sounds into my upcoming projects, and who knows, there may be a live stream or two in the near future where we explore these sounds even further. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Expanse 3, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content just like this, because this channel is 100% independent, there's no sponsorship or affiliate links, so your support is what keeps everything running. Every like, comment and subscription helps tremendously and I appreciate and sort of like appreciate every single one of you for subscribing and watching these videos. And if Expanse 3 got you excited about Luftrum's libraries, you've got to check out my review of Gemina 2. It's another mind-blowing sound library with even more sonic landscapes to explore. Just click the video right here and dive in.